love is what you make it. I'll give you my heart if you promise and you won't break it. I'ma keep it real with everyone, it ain't no vacant. What's up, y'all? This your girl, Monica, and I'm gonna take you behind the scenes as we do some things in trenches. Trenches, the scene. Album coming soon. Come on. I'm watching in plain view. You caught up in tangled in the web of the world. Trenches was really inspired by my life. You know, it's the type of record that is gritty, it's raw, it's about raw emotion, and it's really about falling in love with someone that's on the opposite side of the tracks. And what that means is someone that maybe the world doesn't understand as much as you do, but you see something special in them. And for us, a lot of times when we're up, everybody's around. And then when things aren't necessarily up or you may not be at the top of the charts, people disappear. So I kind of speak to all of that in the record. The record also was named by Pharrell. But I was explaining to him that I'm oftentimes misunderstood and I've really accepted that that's the way it probably will always be. But I'm also considered the underdog. And being considered the underdog, um, I welcome I welcome being the one that's not always ahead or always first, but I sustain the longest. Longevity, authenticity, those are the things that are more important to me. And being an underdog, I kind of learned that my position was a position of purpose, even though not everybody got it. So when you listen to this record, I'm talking about my love for someone that other people just don't understand. And, and the thing that I said to Pharrell that stood out was, I'm okay with not being accepted in Hollywood and hanging in all these other places. I'm cool, I'll be in the trenches and there's nothing wrong with that. That's where I'm from, my people are there. I never hesitate to go back um, and trenches stuck. He was like, yo, wait, you heard what she just said? Say it again. And he named the record Trenches because it really is about being in love with someone from a place that not many can go. Lil Baby was the only person I wanted on this record. Typically when you create a record, you sit down and you talk about multiple people you talk about what it would take to get them and then you orchestrate doing so with this song I remember riding and listening to it in Miami the weather was dope everything around me was really kind of calm and his voice it just kept resonating with me and then I realized that my oldest son Malik and, and, and baby are actually from the same area and Malik actually found him for me and put us on the phone the same day and the rest is history. Being in the studio with him, I gained a completely different level of respect for the way that he works because a lot of people need a lot of time because they got to try to finesse. But the reason he can work the way he is is because he's authentically himself. And that's something that I just... I'm just in tune with people that are like that. When I come in to do a record, it doesn't take me a long time because I can only give you me. I'm not trying to be somebody else. And when he came in, we were talking about a situation in my life and we were discussing it. And within about 20 minutes, he was in the booth and he was verse after verse and connecting with what the song was. And I can appreciate that he's from the same city that raised and reared me. Wish I could save you. So one of my favorite lyrics in Trenches is Baby when the hype get ghost It's superficial people in your life get ghost Same ones say I hit you right back bro Told you they wasn't on the right track so That's not the key I sing in here But I said it like that so that you could hear me Because it happens so fast in the record That I think people miss that I'm actually saying something poignant That means that when the good times, the fun, the money, everything else is gone superficial people in your life get ghosts they leave they're gone they're nowhere they're nowhere around same one say i hit you right back bro told you they wasn't on the right track so i'm saying that i saw that this person was no good for you before you did and now you see so it's something that has definitely happened in my life where i can actually see 
through a person but the person I love can't at that particular time and that is what those lines are kind of about because being in this business you see how quickly people disappear um, people I was trying to get on the phone for months at a time since trenches dropped I cannot get them off the line and that to me is very superficial because those that really stayed down with me through the process of creating not just trenches the record but trenches the album those are the people that really mean a lot to me and superficial people I just don't have a space for I don't know how to fake it and I'm not trying to learn so one of the things that makes trenches very very special for me as an artist is the first song that I've recorded that I actually listen to. <laughs> I don't know why when I was younger I just didn't listen to my own music. Um, I think I think a big part of it is that you record it and you work on it so long and then you perform it so much that by the time you really get to a place and space where you're riding and listening you kind of want to be inspired by other people. But this song has a very significant space with me and my adult life and what I go through on a daily basis and one of the things that I always tell my kids are to be true to your own self be true to yourself at all costs and trenches is me doing exactly that it is everything that street symphony was to me and I fought for those types of records but there's no fight because I'm independent. It's my label, it's my song, it's my heart, it's my music, and it's for my people. Thank you all for tuning in to Behind the Scenes of Trenches. Trenches the single and the album coming soon. I love you guys and we'll be updating you a whole lot more. As we do different things, I'll be sharing because there is no me without you.